Hello and welcome to another unboxing video. For a while I have been hearing about new type of smart display for Arduino and other microcontrollers. I am already familiar with the 4D system and next gen displays. However, there is always market and desire for more and more types of smart displays. They usually communicate with the Arduino or the other microcontrollers over serial communication and they implement all the user interface, the graphical user interface directly in the display and simply communicate whenever objects on the screen has been touched by hand or the Arduino controls directly the objects on the screen like gauges, thermometers and other controls. So I was kind of interested in this new display and so it happens that the Duin people, Duin is the company making the display, contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in receiving and adding support for their displays in Visuino. And naturally I said yes, since I always love to get new toys and add support for them in Visuino, so we all can enjoy working with them easier than before. So without further ado, let's open the display and see what's inside. I think this is very interesting display in many respects, but first things first, let's get rusty and open the box. Okay, so that actually should be it for opening the box. Oh no, not really. Need to get here. That should hopefully do. Okay, this was easy enough. <coughs> and let's see the goodies inside. So when they asked me what kind of display I would like to receive, I told them that since I would be experimenting with it, I'd rather receive a development version. So this is one of their development version displays. It actually is quite a nice display. It has a lot of connectivity options here. So with, before we do anything else, I'll go ahead and open this back. Bring again the good old Rusty. Cut that static back. And have a peek inside. So as mentioned, it's a very nice display. Uh, has a space for micro SD, yes, right here. So I believe that the way to program the display effectively is to upload the code and the graphics resources into the micro SD and plug it here and then the di display directly boots. This one has USB, I'm not sure, I do believe there is a serial communication chip here, so USB to serial here, so most likely I should be able to actually plug the display um, through the USB. Well, that's kind of strange uh, by the type of USB. Okay, I'll, I'll have to figure out what's the purpose of this USB. Maybe we can connect slave devices here. Okay, I, I have a sneaky suspicion because this display has, has one more surprise inside. Okay, from what I see here, This is 8266. So this development board, this development board is way more interesting than I anticipated. 
I, I, I am discovering more and more surprises here because this display has built-in Wi-Fi among other things. Okay, I uh, granted this is a uh, development board but it has a microphone, it has Wi-Fi, okay the micro SD we already understand I have no idea what is this. I would expect this to be the uh, main uh, controller for the display. I mean the, the smart controller that, that uh, does the video rendering uh, for the high level graphical primitives. But as a minimum we have a microphone and we do have Wi-Fi here on the board. Uh, here we have power. This appears to be a battery connector, so I wouldn't be surprised if it even has a battery management. So again, I will have to do some serious study here because this display uh, really appears to be full of uh, surprises. It has way more stuff than I initially anticipated. So when I mentioned that the display is a smart display, uh, there are other smart displays, but this one actually turns out is probably smarter than many others because this display is capable of full Modbus functionality. So you can program it as a Modbus HMI device by itself and it can directly control other Modbus devices in a SCADA application you can connect it to a PLC controller or other PLC controllers. Uh, not sure, well most likely it is through this uh, connector we can have the serial as well as, yes, there are, there are serials, there are plenty of serials actually right here. And as mentioned it has 485, yes this is designed for industrial um, automation. So it has a multitude of um, RS-485 communications. So this display, at least this development version, is really loaded with functionality. I have not looked at uh, the prices, but from what uh, other people have told me, the prices are very competitive. So they they tend to cost similar price to the price of a Nextion display and considering that this is not only a smart display but a smart display with uh, full Modbus uh, functionality in it uh, for roughly the same price it appears to offer a significantly uh, bigger advantages especially if you are automation engineer or uh, working in industrial environment where Modbus is uh, commonly used. Of course, uh, Visuino Pro gives you the option of Modbus, so actually even right now today without any changes, and I have heard people doing that, you can just get this uh, display, program it as a Modbus device and directly control it or be controlled from it uh, in a uh, Arduino application using Visuino Pro and the Modbus support in Visuino Pro. My plan however is to implement the basic protocol, I believe it's referred in the documentation as a basic uh, communication protocol, uh, to implement the basic protocol so you can use it through its basic uh, serial communication protocol or you can use it through the Modbus uh, protocol, whichever serves your needs. Obviously, if uh, you're just enthusiast and want to have a nice smart display, the basic protocol will be the choice since you don't need Visuino Pro version and you don't need to mess up around with uh, Modbus programming. Uh, you can uh, go cheaper for free completely. Uh, just using the free version of Visuino. If you want to go professional then you can use hopefully at uh, some point both the basic protocol or if you go, want to go the Modbus route uh, 
just acts as the mode bus registers in the display. It, it, it uh, appears to present itself in the mode bus space as a, a bunch of uh, registers and of course the controls can be programmed to control registers of other devices or uh, input outputs as, uh, uh, as well as uh, I mean digital uh, uh, digital IOS and uh, input registers as well as uh, dig uh, digital inputs. Well, digi the IOS are typically referred to as coils in uh, Modbus. I was trying to remember the specific term. Yeah, one of the things with all of those protocols that I have to deal with is that each one has its own terminology and uh, sometimes I tend to get confused uh, <laughs> would uh, forget the specific terminology for the specific uh, protocol but in any case in uh, Modbus case uh, we're dealing about digital inputs and we're talking about coils and uh, holding or uh, input registers. So this is the standard so-called uh, terminology if you're Modbus guy. So anyway that's the um, short presentation for this uh, display. It's unboxing and quick description. And of course uh, generously enough uh, the uh, do I hope I pronounce it correctly, but uh, Duin people, I guess it's pronounced as, pronounced as Duin, I'll have to confirm the pronunciation, uh, have also provided in the kit a, a micro SD with a normal SD adapter, very convenient. So that's it for this video, we have uh, presented the display. Next task for me is digging through all the documentation, powering it up, testing it. They provide also a graphical development environment where you can design all the GUI for the display. I'll have to study it. Next step, uh, powering it up and uh, doing few tests. And finally, study the uh, basic serial communication and implementing it in Visuino as well as uh, learning about all of the hardware that's here on this development uh, board, microphone, Wi-Fi and everything else, and how to actually control it and uh, do stuff with it. And hopefully if time permits me, which usually is quite short, but I'll try to make uh, some video tutorial once when the functionality is available in Visuino uh, to show you how to program Arduino controllers or uh, Arduino based PLCs to talk with uh, the display and uh, do some fun stuff and projects. That's it for this video. I hope you all guys are doing very well. If you like the video and want to support the channel, please remember to click the like button and to subscribe. It all helps and uh, more and more people will be able to enjoy the videos and uh, being updated on the progress of uh, Visuino. On the Visuino front, again, there is a new uh, version upcoming. I just released an uh, update about a week ago and I am trying to uh, post another updated version uh, this week with some improvements. And after that, the plan is uh, for uh, a little bit bigger release again. There are some really big new features that are in development and I'll try to sneak them in a, uh, another major release. So keep your eyes on it. Uh, a lot of exciting stuff uh, is uh, coming in the way. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed and had some fun with me and the display. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye everyone.